Clot formation involves, among others, platelets and coagulation factors. The platelets are first to arrive at the scene and begin to loosely cover the injury. Thrombin enhances the activation and aggregation of platelets. On their surfaces, the coagulation factors, also activated by thrombin, accumulate. In tandem with 5A, factor 10A induces the so-called thrombin burst. Finally, thrombin converts fibrinogen into fibrin that then forms fibers cross-linked through the action of factor 13. This stabilizes the developing clot. In patients suffering from hemophilia, the propagation phase of clotting is disrupted. As a result, they cannot generate thrombin in sufficient amounts to induce normal clotting. The molecule is a B-domain deleted recombinant factor 8. Its special feature? A purposely chosen polyethylene glycol polymer. This polyethylene glycol polymer, or PEG for short, is intended to prolong the circulatory half-life of the recombinant factor 8. In this way, reliable clotting could be restored. <laughs>